In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error message where it says you cannot shrink a volume beyond the point where unmovable files are located. So if you're trying to shrink one of your disks on your computer, and it's basically not letting you shrink it to anything over a few thousand megabytes, then what you need to do to fix this is just close out of here for a second. And then we're going to head over to the start menu and then search for CMD and right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. So the first thing you need to do is type in the command power CFG dot exe space forward slash hibernate space off and then hit enter. Now, once you've done that, you can close out of this window and then you're going to head over to the start menu and search for advanced system settings and then just click on view advanced system settings. Now, underneath performance, you want to click on this settings button, click on advanced from the top and underneath virtual memory, click on change. Now, what you need to do is uncheck this option where it says automatically manage paging file size and we're going to come down and select no paging file and then you just need to press this set button like so. And this will pop up with this security message. Just go ahead and press yes. And then once you've done that, you can press OK. And as you can see, it will require you to restart your computer before these changes are made. But for now, let's just press OK and press apply and OK. So once you've done that, you'll then need to head over to the system protection tab. Click on your C drive from this list and then press configure. And then underneath restore settings, you want to make sure you have a disable system protection checked and then press apply and OK. You may get this message pop up. Just click on yes and then press yes again. And then you can just press OK. Okay, and close out of this window and now what you'll need to do is restart your computer for all of these changes to take effect so I'm just going to click on restart now once your computer is restarted you can then head back over to the disk management and once again you can try shrinking your drive and as you can see now we're able to shrink our drive by a much larger size of megabytes so it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one